all right as y'all see in the intro we come here with the best female character in all of anime yes we're talking about all the different people like annie sakura <laughs> and many other characters inside of the anime verse we're going to be coming here with a tournament bracket with almost 20 characters putting some of the best anime female characters against each other in a full-on battle as y'all know some of these characters are available as well as all of them are available in the discord so make sure to join down below and shit let me know who y'all favorite female character inside of all of anime is i think my personal favorite is like mariliona or maki but there are many very 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 tough characters but i hope you'll enjoy and let's get into the best female character tournament in mugen all right all right all right let's get into the first match of the tournament rius and tatsumaki a crazy ass battle to start the first match off we know tatsumaki is a monster she won the greatest superhero tournament against my boy thanos against superman and many other strong competitors so this ain't gonna be easy for her but rius is also a very strong competitor you know somebody that's not easy to take down as well so um out of these two characters i don't know who's going all the way okay rius comboing up <laughs> we can see a cat fight today here ladies and gentlemen all all, all the females going against each other and if we talk about looks alone, who's the baddest female in anime, man? Who are y'all going for, man? <laughs> y'all niggas know I had to ask it, man. I, I can't lie. Rius is bad as hell. If, if it's if it's a 1v1 in looks out of these two right here, I got Rius winning all day. But, you know, in terms of powers, I think uh, Tatsumaki and Mugen and powers, you know, she's she's kind of she's kind of drowning Rius in a crazy ass takedown match right there. Giving Tatsumaki round one. All right, match two. We got my boy we got Koro and Noel this one's gonna be a pretty good matchup obviously as well we're seeing a lot of strong competitors going against each other and um shit, we're, this, we're, these two are not shy of combos give me nice attacks and just being all around demons so I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna be surprised if we see some crazy ass hits right here okay Koro getting some nice hits on off the rip some nice attacks definitely getting a little bit of a lead and like I said, I'm not surprised bro Koro is another one of the stronger characters you know a saber level almost threat and she's a monster nowadays i'm not gonna lie a lot of the girls on my roster are starting to become extremely high tier not even just strong because they've always been strong but they're getting to a point where they're just at a extremely high level people like saber saber tatsumaki feel me koro we're seeing a lot of them you know Ryder, and just different characters who are just starting to climb above the rest of the characters on my roster but um Noelle kind of getting her ass whooped right now. Noelle actually has a bag too, which I'm kind of surprised that she's kind of getting drowned like this. Um, okay, what is this? A little water shield by her. And uh, Koro definitely putting pain on her right now. Um, there we go. Noelle with some nice hits in. And like I said, she has to do better than she's doing because w what are you doing right now? I honestly, I can't even tell you what she is doing. Okay. Koro with some nice hits okay into the little water tornado okay noel let me see some noel's cooking a little bit and i'm i think she has another mode after this i don't know for sure but noel might just be cooked here <laughs> don't quote me if i'm wrong oh yeah and there we go koro taking the second fight home damn i'm not gonna lie bro some of these fights gotta go and quite quick all right one of my favorite females of all time we got maki popping down on the field going against um chun li another strong character on both teams you know both of these characters are definitely pretty dangerous so we got to see what uh what goes down off the rip maki putting in some heavy work chun li one of the stronger people of the fighting team and maki somebody who doesn't really make the jjk team is like she used to but she's always going to be a threat you know she got combos tough ass clean character and she might make the jjk team actually because uh we haven't had a jjk team as you know since we're doing a team of the tournament we haven't seen what the new jjk team is going to be looking like and um you know i wouldn't be i wouldn't mind seeing these two uh getting at it okay oh yeah oh yeah the combos are crazy she's getting devious with it these bitches is, these bitches is angry i can't even lie I, I don't know why they're scrapping like this okay and here we go we got maki transformer destroy everything destroy everything big sister oh yeah and I can't lie, Maki's sister just set Chun Li up. <laughs> she just set that bitch Chun Li up for failure. Okay. I can't lie, they're getting at it right now, but Chun Li is putting in pain. Pain of another level, y'all, that, that we're, we're getting to see right now. There we go. Maki putting in a little bit of work. And I know Maki has a counter as well that does a lot of damage. So if she can get that off, I think that will probably be one of the secured methods of this victory. But, um,. Sun Lee's also putting in some pain right now. I'm not gonna lie, they're kind of going back and forth. Oh, that's, that's game. That's game. That's a special ultimate attack, too. Oh, that's game. 
Oh, that's game. Oh, that was kind of tough. Let's get into the next match. All right, now we got a fate themed matchup. Two fate characters going against each other to the death in an insane battle, Saber and Ryder. And I'm not gonna lie, who decided to make Ryder's name this, bro? Like, he knew what he was doing when he was in the studio talking about <laughs> Ryder. <laughs> Oh yeah, Ryder's putting in some work. <laughs> oh yeah, Ryder's sweating. Like, come on, bro. You can't even talk about Ryder. Yeah, you seen that last that last little film Ryder was in? Nigga think you talking about some nigga think you talking about the hub. <laughs> I'm not talking about the hub, I'm talking about fate. Can't even talk about the latest fate episode with the boys. <laughs> Luckily, you know, I, I don't think I was talking about fate back then, but like when when Ryder and Fate first came out, I I didn't I didn't watch it. You know, I, I kind of caught up on fate later on down the road. Was there any anime fans like in, in the comments that y'all watch Fate Live, like season one and two? Because I feel like that would have to been like back in the day. Something like Fate State Night, Fate Zero. You know, I, I, the matches is waiting weekly. Yo, Fate's coming out next week. You know, I, I feel like it would be tough, but like I just I just wasn't around for that. Okay. Saber putting in some work right now against Ryder, though. Saber all on top of Ryder. <laughs> Ryder getting all knocked up and down by, by, by Saber. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go, Ryder putting some, nah, see, I can't even be serious about it, bro. I can't even be serious about it, bro. I was about to say Ryder putting in some good work. <laughs> nope. Oh yeah, Ryder threw his ass. Okay. Here we go. Ryder with some combos. Saber chasing her down. Yup, combo. Ugh. Left, right, turn around, Ugh. more slices. Oh my God, and Saber's combos are day devious, bro. She just won, you know, she's won different tournaments and she, she's carried fate for a very long time. So I'm not surprised that she's putting in work like this. She's one of the only characters I've ever seen out of the females beat Tatsumaki. So people are, I know some people are rooting for her to take it all the way home. And, and honestly, I can see her doing it. Oh yeah, here we go. Ultimate attack by Saber. Yup, I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't wanna be you right now. <laughs> I wouldn't wanna be you right now. And good sky that's gas. That's gas every time, man. Oh, that's not game? Gotta be close to game. Oh, yeah, that's close to game. Okay, unless Ryder could bring it back. Unless Ryder could get that health back up and down. Nope. GG to Ryder. Uh, and we're finally done with the first round. Let's get into the second round of the matchups. All right, now we got Andy versus Tatsumaki. Two extremely strong characters in the second round. And this is where most of the matchups inside of the entire tournament is going to be. This is like, like I said, the most matchups is going to be inside of this fight. Okay. Andy off the rip comboing, putting down a cannon. And Annie's a close range fighter. Tatsumaki's a far range fighter. So this is like, you know, a good matchup for both of them. Bad for Annie, obviously, but if she can get close, then it becomes bad for Tatsumaki. So it's kind of like a, you know, it's definitely could be advantageous for either one of them, but off the rip, um, Tatsumaki putting in pain. Maki, I'm not gonna lie, Annie be fighting like she from the hood. <laughs> if she get close to give me Tatsumaki, Tatsumaki gets close, she's gonna lose the fight going against Annie. Yep. And here we go, fighting like she from the hood. Left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. <laughs> <laughs> slander ass oh my god that hood fighting she fight like she's straight from the hood i know niggas from the block fighting like annie man and also tatsumaki is a multi-hit attack character so she's gonna be shredding annie that's one that's one thing that's a fact you know multi-hit characters are better against titans and i can already see she's gonna be doing some real damage to, An to annie yep already doing some good damage to annie and that is not you know good good at all for uh okay and Annie, honestly, she could have won this match. I think, I don't think it's all the way over yet, but she, if she was in, um, wait a minute. Oh, Tatsumaki not going mode? Oh, nah, I feel bad. I think she, her mode's not automatic. She died before mode. All right, the next matchup is Mordred versus Power. After this fight, I'll show y'all the bracket again for the people who want to see. But um, who would have thought Tatsumaki out of the tournament before we even hit 10 minutes? Like, that's crazy. She's definitely a monster. Annie is another monster that I knew was going to be a problem for her, but I just didn't think, I, I didn't know her mode wasn't automatic. Like, it's something I thought that was implemented, or it, maybe, it, maybe it is, and it just bugged, but you know, you lose, you lose. You feel me? That just happens sometimes. Now we got Power of Chainsaw Man going against Mordred of Fate as well, and these Fate characters have been going crazy. Have we seen a Fate character lose other than Ryder so far? I, I don't know. These Fate characters are definitely dangerous. Uh, Saber put in her work, Koro put in her work, and I'm not gonna lie, Mordred is starting off this fight, putting in her work. That's like more of why these girl characters are getting so much better inside of, uh, you know, the tournament. Fate is just, has been bringing the pain, you know what I mean? Fate has a lot of these girl characters arriving and putting in work, other than people like Power as well, Tatsumaki. You know, there's a lot of people who are arriving on the scene for the girl characters who have been putting in work. That's one thing, you know, you gotta give them the respect when it's due. Okay. 
power putting in some work right now but mordred has had just such a good start that it's definitely not a this isn't the easiest matchup right now okay i guess skyba oh yeah uh that was tough for own little excalibur last arc finish taking down power in an intense matchup to the next fight and y'all know we couldn't have the tournament without my favorite bride of all of anime Tsunade. you feel me if i could get one Tsunade might have to be the one but we got Tsunade going against koro mitsuri going against misaka a lot of other contenders pause it if you don't want to see the bracket but um Tsunade. we got to see what Tsunade can do she's going against the legendary koro and uh you know a fake character who's been putting in work went put in work the first round as well so i ain't really uh too surprised about what she can do okay off the rip, Tsunade put in a little bit of work. Coral putting in some work as well. Okay. And her bubbles from her, her slug missing a lot. Yep, there we go into a nice little ground attack. And then some uh some ninjas showing up. Okay. I even know she could summon other ninja. That's kind of tough. She got a little bit of a bag. I, res I respect other bags. Okay. Coral, Coral don't give a fuck about none of that though. What is this? Okay. Oh, she just put down like permanent slug. Okay, the slug is staying down on the field permanently. Okay. Here we go. Now she has a uh, 100 healings on, so she will be healing up as well. I'm pretty sure. And oh my God, Tsunade's bag is tough. I'm gonna have to look into using this character more often. Okay, Tsunade, and she's healing. You feel me? That's that's canon. That's canon. Oh shit. Okay, Cora. I'm not gonna lie. You having a hard time, and I don't blame you, bro. And the longer you wait, the more Tsunade got that 100 healings going, man. She don't heal that fast, but feel me, if you don't fight, you know, if you don't attack her, she gonna heal up. Okay. 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 And I ain't gonna lie, are they hitting each other? What's going on here? Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, yes, there's something fishy going on here. All right, upon a review of last match, Tsunade actually wasn't even getting hit for some reason in mode. And, you know, obviously that's against the rules. I thought she was just cooking. This whole time we thought she was cooking, she was capping. <laughs> nah, her, her bag was actually tough, though. But she was, at the same time, you know, doing some extra little weird shit. But we got Mitsuri and Misaka coming out now. And um, we know how that goes. We, You know, we got some characters that are going to be putting in some work. Okay. And I ain't gonna lie, Misaka started off strong, now Mitsuri getting some of her own combos in. And we're almost about halfway through the tournament so far, and these characters have been putting in some work left and right. Like I said, who's your favorite female character? Okay. And Mitsuri do got that whip on her. I mean, she has the whip. <laughs> let me know down below. Would y'all let Mitsuri hit you? I I need go say it all. I ain't gonna say it at all. Feel me? I, never mind, y'all. Y'all feel me? I let the intrusive thoughts take over. I, I, I'm just gonna chill out. Okay. Misaka combo him. Shit, Misaka, I, I don't know. Nah, actually, wait a minute. <laughs> you never know. Some of these girls might be underage. I don't know how Misaka. I was finna give Misaka a compliment. And I, I see she got a school uniform on. What? What is she doing with that on? Y'all trying to get me caught up. Y'all trying to get me caught up. <laughs> but there we go. Misaka taking the victory. Moving on to the next round. All right, Rukia versus Chun-Li. Moving on down the bracket, we got some, you know, another good matchup going in. And off the rip, Rukia playing aggressive as hell. Chun-Li got the assist, though, which is going to be kind of hard for uh, Rukia to deal with, depending on what she's popping, obviously, what she's doing. Okay. Chun-Li knocking Rukia out of the air, comboing her down a little bit. What does that move do? I, I honestly don't know what Rukia is doing right now. There we go. Okay. I know some niggas do like Rukia, feel me? I know she is a Bleach fan favorite, you know, not the favorite, but some of the characters, you know, I'm more of a uh, Orihime type of, type of vibe, feel me? Or a uh, Rangiku type of vibe. <laughs> if you picking up what I'm putting down. Oh my God, okay, Rukia, okay. Niggas like, <laughs> niggas like, if you're picking up what I'm putting down. Oh my God, Rukia is actually cooking up a little bit. Let me find out Rukia could cook. Okay, she's trying to freeze Chun-Li up. I uh, feel me, Rukia. I'd let Rukia freeze me. And uh, y'all can't tell me there's anything wrong with that sentence. I know Rukia like 900 years old. She might look a little young, but uh, he passes the check. <laughs> you can't get me there. Nobody's getting me. I know Bleach characters are old as shit. <laughs> Rukia might be like a thousand years old, but what does that mean to me? <laughs> a thousand years of experience. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just fucking with y'all. 
But Shun Lee is actually putting in some work right now. I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rookie's getting crushed. And Rookie put in some some tough work that match, but Shun Lee brought it home. All right, all right, all right. Moving down the list, we have Hanji versus Akame, Kali Bell versus Saber, and then Kaguya versus Moreliona to finish this round out. And I'm kind of excited. You know, Hanji is a tough ass character. So is um, Akame. So, I'm, you know, we already seen one Attack on Titan character pull out a victory. Are we finna see a second one? Or is Akame finna put in that work? Okay. Oh my God, that damage is nice. And Hanji coming off the rip, very aggressive. You feel me? She's putting in pain. She's not, she's off the rip showing us why she should be here. Okay. Oh my God. There we go. Oh, I thought Akame was finna get it. I thought Akame was finna get a couple hits in. Cause fuck, she's getting crushed. Here we go. There we go. Akame starting to get a little bit of hits in. Don't get one shot out your pants, Hanji. <laughs> Y'all already know how that go. One shot out your skirt. That's what niggas should say. Okay. For this tournament, at least. And every time Yakame puts her hands on you, she has a chance of putting you in that underworld. She already has two marks on Hanji. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. One more. One more. Hanji getting one shot out of pants. Out of the trousers. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Uh -uh. Don't do it. Oh, no. Oh, my God. What is this combo? Legendary combo. One shot out your pants. Oh, no. Oh, no, bro. All right, next matchup, we got Holly Bell going against Saber. Two blonde-headed Johns, and uh, here we go. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm excited to see how this, uh, how this is gonna progress because uh, Saber obviously putting in a lot of work so far. Holly Bell actually has a nice bag in terms of a character. I think she could definitely be something, you know, of, of a character depending on what you know if, if she was to get edited again you know she's already pretty strong but um her bag is nice you know just too bad that bleach has so many other characters that are kind of cooler than her so they'll, they'll always be at a priority you know what i mean but um okay okay and off the rip holly bell putting in some heavy work she does damage she definitely has the damage on nah they have about the same damage Okay. Holly Bell putting in a little bit of damage there. Into a barrage. She actually has some nice little bits of moves in her kit. Now, I know she probably has a mode, but it uh, looks like Saber's not letting her get that one off. <laughs> looks like Saber's ending this one here. Saber looks like she's ending this one here. Yeah, Eka Skyba. Okay, wait a minute. She actually might get it off. Okay. Oh, that shit looks tough. Oh, yeah, Saber don't give a fuck about none of that, though. And yo, let me know if y'all want to see a Holly Bell comeback of a character. I didn't know her her bag was this was this tough. She actually got a nice little bag. Oh my god, and Saber. This is the character you don't want to verse if you're trying to show off your bag, though. Okay. Okay. And there we go. Yep, Holly Bell put in some work, but Saber taking that one home expectingly. All right, Morelliona going against Kaguya. A battle of what I'd say the ages once again. We're going to see something tough. Okay, round one fight. Let's see. Let's see how y'all niggas get because uh, this one gonna be tough. Okay. Okay. Kagi off the rip, starting off with some combos. Oh yeah, Morelli on with a little bit, a little, little little gunshot attacks. Okay. And here we go. There we go. Nice little bits of hits. And here we go. Transformation. And honestly, yeah, these two characters, both of them are kind of strong, but uh, Aguilla is very annoying. You know, Merleona has more modes. Kaguya has probably the better base because she can like combo break and do certain things of that nature. But uh, Merleona has her own combo breaking feature, some good range attacks and a close range AI. Okay. I forgot that Merleona could fly too. Yep. Nice little combos. Yep, combo break. Just like, yeah, they both have combo breakers on each other. So they're both not going to get 100 to 0. They're going to do some good damage against each other. Okay. Here we go. Kagi trying to pop ultimate attack. Not working. Moreliona waiting till she gets close to pop some moves. And honestly, I follow both of these characters. I, I If I had to pick one between them, it will have to be Moreliona. She's probably my favorite, one of my favorite female attacker, like fight characters in, in all time. I don't really like Kaguya's interruption, like introduction in Naruto, but uh, Moreliona's putting in some work right now. She might not even need a mode to take this one home. It's not looking good right now for uh, Kaguya. The Kaguya fans in shambles. 
Okay. Yep, got her ass. Stopped her from go mode. And she's just comboing up. Flying around and she, she's just having fun. <laughs> that bitch is having fun. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to lie. It's not looking good at all. This one definitely looking like it's going to be over. Oh, yeah. And here we go. Kagi with ultimate attack. She wants to get at least one more off. And maybe this 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 could make a difference. Here we go. Kagi going into mode now. Oh, yeah. And GG. Merleona going into mode and taking that battle home. All right. The second round begins. As y'all know, we have a lot of crazy fights going on. The final eight. Started with Annie and Mordred. AOT. Fate. Let's go. Okay. Annie starting off the rip with some combos. Got her in the corner, punching on her left and right. I'm getting Dragon Ball Z type vibes the way Annie be throwing them hands. Like I said, she is a hood fighter. She is sanctioned in the hood. I, I watched her. I watched her get sanctioned. So I know she is. <laughs> Feel me? Nigga Levi was there too. Okay. Oh, yeah. And I know why, yo. Right now, Mordra is having a very hard time. She's getting comboed up. She's getting drowned. She pulled out the blick on her. That's one thing that, that Annie gonna do. If she, if she don't want to combo you, she gonna pull out that pole. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's gonna do some damage too, though. Okay. Okay, Mordra's starting to turn it around. Starting to get a little bit of aggression on her side. Okay. Annie's starting to bring it back a little bit here. And they're going back and forth. I think both of these characters is dangerous. Honestly, but we haven't seen the Titan yet. Okay. Oh, yeah. Blick on her. We might not even need to see Titan. We might not even need to see Titan. <laughs> we might not even need to see Titan. Oh, yeah. And he's something crazy. Let's get into the next fight. All right. Koro versus Misaka. The next matchup is bound to be a good one. As y'all know, man, we are trying to get into the final four. So uh, let's see how this goes. Misaka put in some crazy work the first round. So has Koro been putting in some work. Uh, we got to see what these two do. Off the rip, Koro putting in some, some pain on right now, Misa Misaka. And honestly, I thought it was gonna be the other way around to start this match. I, I can I can admit that I am a little bit surprised. Okay, there we go. Misaka putting in a little bit of work too. Two very strong characters. You know, both of these characters are strong in the tournaments. They both put in some pain. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She said bye bye. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's funny as hell. Okay. And there we go. Misaka starting to turn her combos around. And oh my god, the damage, the damage, the combos, the damage. Oh yeah, she's locked in. She's locked in. Okay. Misaka going back down. And I'm not gonna lie, both of them are kind of reversing on each other pretty, you know, fair enough back and forth. Either one of these characters could easily be the one to take it all the way home. Now Misaka turning it back around on Koro. Oh, yeah, Saber, she definitely got some comp. You know, Saber, you know, people think Saber's probably the best on the roster. And she could be. You know, her Tatsumaki, uh, Tatsumaki already lost to Annie. So, you know, definitely whoever wins this is going against Annie. And, oh, my God, in an intense-ass battle, Koro brings it home. All right, next fight. Imagine Akame wins this entire tournament by just popping one-shots with no low-ass health. That'll be dead-ass hilarious, bro, because her one-shots are dangerous. You know, like I said, she puts them three marks on you, and they're the only one-shots I know inside of the whole tournament that everybody, you know, kind of be laughing about because it's, I'm not gonna lie, they're rightfully earned. You know, you gotta land three consistent combos to land that. I mean, that's like, I feel like you gotta give somebody some respect for landing that because it ain't easy to land three consistently long combos into that move. She just don't, she don't just be spamming the move. You know what I mean? Okay. Nice little hits right there. What is that? She keep missing it. Whatever that is, she keeps missing. Okay. Oh, it's a knockback. Okay. And she already has a mark on a Chun-Li, it looks like. She might have more than one mark on Chun-Li. I don't know what she popped to have marks on Chun-Li, but I didn't know she might have multiple moves that gets marks on opponents, which is actually, if that's true, that is dangerous as hell. She hasn't landed one since I peeped them on the left side getting landed, but uh, she has been landing them. Okay. Oh, that's gonna, yep. And that might be a third mark. Either that's two or three. Uh-oh, full combo. I was gonna say Chun-Li, you better get out of that. Oh, they're going at it right now. 
and Chun-Li's just dodging. I was about to say, that's one thing that's kind of hurting her on the low is she's just going straight for dodges. Okay. Okay, and here we go. Oh, yeah. Caught her ass. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, that damage, that damage. And Akame has a mark. She can really put Chun-Li down. Chun-Li's not going, doing good right now. I can't tell if she has two marks or three marks on Chun-Li. I really can't tell. I just know these two are going at it right now. Wait a minute. Oh, that's three. Is that three? I, I, did she just lose a mark? I don't know what just happened. Yo, she's working out without the mark. Oh my God, Chun Li losing to Akame without the one shot is crazy. All right, all right. Saber versus Merlin on the last fight here to divide, decide the final, you know, the final four fighters. This thing will be an easy matchup for anybody. You know, Merlin is an annoying character to go against, and so is Saber. So both of them are going to be, you know, putting in some pain against each other. Saber likes the 100 to 0 characters, and Merlin is literally the character that's not going to let you 100 to 0 her. You know, you're going to make this a fair fight. You're going to have to do something else other than just try to pop 100 to 0 combos. Okay. Oh, yeah. And them, the counters, though, them counters is always going to put in work on Saber's side. Okay. 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 Nice little fire knockback. Oh, yeah. Into the counter once again. And I'm not going to lie. Yo, Morelion is getting, you know, blended to start this fight out. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. And Morelion is starting to bring it back on our own side a little bit now. Starting off really slow, but... You know, now she's starting to put in a little bit of work, obviously popping mode, getting a little bit of damage off on Saber. She can't really land no M1. Saber's just beating her in M1 every time. Second mode now. And I'm about to say, in her second mode, she's going to have to be able to land some type of punches because now she has the dragon on her side helping her out with some of the beams, some of the attacks, and she has better fire attacks, fire control. She's going to give Saber a little bit of a harder time in mode. Oh, yeah, she's giving Saber a way harder time in mode, not even a little bit. Okay. Got fire tornadoes coming out. Forcing Saber into our first mode. Doesn't matter. The fire is still blending Saber on top of, you know, all these attacks. Saber definitely having the health advantage. And she still has another mode. So she definitely has the advantage here. Uh-oh. Ultimate attack. This might be game. This might be game, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Yup. That Excalibur always going to get the job done. Moving into the final four. Let's get into it. And all right, all right, to start the final four, we got Annie and Koro. This is going to be some decent, uh, you know, whoever wins this could damn near win the tournament. Obviously, Saber's a big, you know, hurdle to get over. But uh, Koro and Annie are both dangerous ass characters, you know. Seeing both of these characters in the tournament, we know they're both extremely strong. And uh, honestly, I didn't think either one of them, uh, I knew, I, I didn't think either one of them would be knocked out early. So I'm not really surprised that they're this far, but um. You know, I'm, I'm surprised that Tatsumaki ain't far neither, though. You know, I, I, Tatsumaki, for sure, i seen getting really, really far in this. So, you know, Saber taking down one of the big contenders already. It's going to be hard for him um, to, to take down Koro, though, because Koro is strong range. Koro's strong up close. She's a character that's annoying to take on in different levels of the game almost every step of the game. Okay. And she has a lot of iframes. Certain things will not hit Coral, like that counter, different things. That's going to make, you know, that goes to her advantage. She just has a lot, a lot of iframes. Okay. 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 Kind of going back and forth right here a little bit. And they're literally going back and forth right here. Okay. And the iframes, her iframes some crazy. Okay. Yo, she's running back into her combos. And he's something crazy sometimes. Oh, yeah, there we go. Coral catching her ass. Trying to punch up on the shield. Getting a lot of meter from punching on the shield. I'm going to say, you know what Annie needs to do? She needs to pop a, uh, a cannon. Oh, it's getting forced into her Titan state right there. Okay. Okay, here we go. We got Coral transforming. Okay, and I'm not going to lie. Whoa, into base? What's going on here? What's going on here? Is she, is she staying in base? This bitch tweaking. Okay, no, she's also oh, she's doing like the Aaron method. She hopping out of Titan, putting in some combos, then going back into Titan. Okay, W tactic by Annie. Okay, and yo, know, that's the, just like that. Certain moves like that just are not gonna hit Koro. Okay, 
and they're gonna run up a little bit of meter right here backing up that might be smart oh she came back too early she's gonna get hit by some of this okay okay i don't know what that did but annie taking it home in an intense 1v1 all right annie taking to the finals but who will meet her there akame or saber one of the final fights right here about to go down and um i'm excited to see who wins this we know that uh Akame is dangerous because of moves just like that. She can get a one shot off on you and get them tags on you. She can take all your health away. But Saber has multiple modes and different things that could kind of safe proof her from getting one shot too easily. So um I wouldn't be surprised, you know, to see oh she almost got a second tag on Saber. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised to see either one of these characters put in some heavy work. Okay. Knocking her back. And Akame be comboing up. You know, she be knocking her opponents back doing some real work. Okay. Okay, two, two markings on Saber. Oh, that's gonna do some damage. Oh, she has three markings on Saber. Wait, whoa, when did she end up getting three marks on Saber? Wait, when did that happen? Okay, I didn't even see that happen. Knockback. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, and that's the third mark. Does that kill through mode? Nope, forces her to alter Saber. Oh my God, and the, yo, she is putting in some crazy work. Okay, whoever wins this goes to the final. Saber, Ultra Saber, you gonna let this go down? You gonna go down here? Nope. Oh yeah, she's finna put in some work. Oh, Ultra Saber had them taking some damage from that. Okay, not Ultra Saber, Akame, I meant. Oh yeah, Akame's getting crushed. Oh yeah, Akame's getting crushed. Akame's getting crushed. Oh, and yeah, Ultra Saber is about to put in some heavy work. Now it's time for the finale 1v1. All right, here we go. Time for another matchup. We got Saber. We got Annie. This one's going to be pretty exciting, obviously, seeing who wins out of these two. And um, like I said, two strong ass characters all the way to the finals. This is, you know, it's going to be crazy. And Kame honestly put in a lot of work. She probably got, you know, my most surprising performance out of everybody so far. I didn't think she was going to make it nowhere near as far. But, um, Annie hitting some 360 trick shots right now. <laughs> okay. And, uh, she's giving Saber a real problem. Saber going into her first mode really early. And, um, that just shows both of these characters are extremely strong. Both really good combo characters. And, you know, like I said, they're both dangerous. Honestly, if I had to go mode B mode, I'd definitely give it to, uh, Saber. Because her, her mode is just a little bit stronger than the Titan state. But, um, that's, you know, obviously that's debatable. Okay. Okay. Putting out a put out the little cannon. And like I said, it's gonna come down to the wire when it comes to mode v mode. Honestly, I think Saber's mode makes a big difference in this matchup, but she's stuck in a corner right now. Oh yeah, here we go. Got Annie coming out first. Okay, Annie coming out first. Okay. That's crazy that she can use that move on the ground. Oh yeah. And I ain't gonna lie, she better be careful before she does. Oh, there yeah, I was about to say, she has to get mode off. Okay. And here we go. We got Ultra Saber showing up in max power. Okay. Oh my god. What was that? Was that the cannons that just hit her from before? Oh, that did some damage. You're, this could go either way. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, and he almost won that one, but there we go. Saber bringing it home with an insane ultimate. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. Saber gets my respect for that matchup. What the hell? She's still fighting back, even in bed. <laughs> that was crazy. The best female in anime.